Hello, my lovely learners. Welcome back again to our visual lesson. Today, our subject is on what natural science. Now, when you wake up in the morning, what is the first thing that you do? You do what you wash your face. And what do you use to wash your face? Usually, you use what water. Now, after washing your face, what else do you do? You brush your teeth. Brushing your teeth, you use pestilence and toothbrush and toothpaste. Together with what? Together with water. And what again do you do? You take your bath. And what do you use to take your bath? You use what? Sponge, soap and what? Water. So our topic today is what? Water. And what is water? You always see water. You have been drinking water. And what is water? Water is a liquid substance that has no color and no taste. And water is a liquid substance that has no color and what? No taste. It has no color. Water has no color and it has what? No taste. Someone will say, Madam, what about Fanta? Fanta is not water. Though it is a liquid, but it is not water. Why? Because it has a taste. You, when you are drinking Fanta, you go taste what? Sugar. Good. You also have your malt, your coke and stuff. They are all not water. Though they are liquid substance, but they are not water. Why? Because they have what? Taste in them. But water itself has no what? Taste or what? Color. Now, in school or in your houses, where do you get water from? Where can you get water? At home, where do you get water from? And as you are, as in school, when you come to school and want to drink water, where do you get water from? So let's look at some of the sources of what? Water. Let's look at some sources of what? Water. We have river. We have river. We have what? Well. This well normally in our villages. You see it very deep and there is, is it a bucket or a gallon with a what? Rope tied. You put it in the what? In, into, into it and what? You draw it. You try to pull the what? Rope what? Out. When you do that, the bucket or the gallon will be filled with what? Water. So we get what? Water from what? A well. Borehole. We have been seeing this in villages and even in our cities where you will be one person will be here and will be pumping it up and down up and down then you see water will be coming out look at these children you can see what they are doing they are just wasting water <laughs> all right now rainfall whenever it rains in our houses we use what buckets or bowls outside to what to get what water so when it rains we get what water we have the pond the pond the, in in the pond too we have what we get what water from the what pond we also have stream 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 we also get water from the stream we have the ocean 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 and then we have what a uh, lake so sources of water river well borehole rainfall or rain pond stream ocean and what lake all right now where else can you get water can also get water from our pipe so I wrote borehole, river, the sea. You can also get water from the sea. Rain, pipe, the stand pipe. In houses, we have our pipe. When you come to school too, there is a pipe here that you fetch water. So drink. All right. Now, what are the importance of water? As we human beings or I am living things both humans plants and animals do we need water 
Yes, why do we need water? We need water to survive. Without water, we cannot do what survive. So what are the importance of what? Water. Water helps to prevent constipation. Water helps to prevent consp constipation. Sometimes, when we feel like visiting the washroom, going to private, you will go there, you will try to squeeze us out, but it, nothing will come up. But when you drink water, Eh, water it helps you to digest the what consumed what food and try to soften what is in it to prevent what constipation so it releases or it digests the food so that it makes the um, your feces and uh, easy to what come out all right so it prevents what constipation Water helps to regulate body temperature. Water helps to re regulate body temperature. Sometimes, after playing, you could see that you are very tired. You feel weak. And when you take in water, it cools your body water down. Sometimes, too, when your body is very hot, eh, maybe we will put towel, a small towel into a cold water. And try to use to clean your body for you. Eh? So water helps to regulate what body what temperature. And when she does that, how do you feel now? You will feel what cold. Your body will not be hot again, but rather your body will be what cold. All right. Animals need water to survive. As I said, plants, animals, and we humans, we all need what water to survive. Plants also drink water. Those who have cats, the domestic animals, your pets in houses, hope you give them water to drink. Yes, good. Plants need water to grow, as I said. Plants, they need water and sunlight to grow. So human beings also need water to live. To live. So water is very what, important in our daily lives. Without water, there is no what life. All right. So we've talked about what is water. We've seen where we get water from. We've also seen the importance of water. Now, what do we use water for? Is it only drinking? Ah, we use water for many what purposes. Let's look at some of them. We use water for bathing. And if I ask you when you wake up in the morning. What do you do? You told me you wash your face, you take your bath. And what do you use to take your bath? Surely you use water, sponge and water, towel with soap. Alright, so we use water for bathing. What else do we use water for? When mommy wants to wash your clothes, is it only the soap that she uses? No, she uses water. So we use water for washing what? Clothes. Alright, those who have flowers, in their various houses what do you use and uh, how will the flowers grow unless you do what water them so we use water for watering what flowers for our plants we use water to water them or or else they will what die and when they will become yellow and when it becomes yellow it means it is what dead all right so let's continue we use water for rinsing of what utensils when you finish eating and you wash your bowl and will you just go and put it down no you rinse it and what do you rinse it with with what water so we use water for rinsing of what utensils what else do we use water for we use water for building what for building building our houses let me show you. Before they build the house, the cement, how to get the cement? They use gravels, sand. If you could remember when we were doing the mixtures, eh? sand, stones, and what? Sand, gravels, and what? Water. Solid, solid, what? Liquid. Gold. So, sand, stone, gravels, and water 
mix up to get what cement in building our what houses all right let's continue we use water for cooking that one is very simple when mommy is cooking jollof she has her rice her tomatoes and everything what will she add to the rice water when you want to prepare tea and you have your ingredients your milo your needle and your sugar what will you add to it water yeah all right so we use water in what for cooking what else do we use water for maybe um when you are sick and you go to the hospital and you are giving medicine some some of our medicines drip okay some of our medicine when we, we drink with what water sometimes too in the hospital they put what drip on you and that drip is also what water and why do you think they put drip on you uh, to help with your what to regulate your body what temperature all right so today what have we learned we've talked about what water we said water is a liquid substance that has no color and no taste it has no color and what no taste so don't ask me madam fanta is it water no fanta is not water though it is a liquid but it is not what water sources of water we have the bowl river the sea rain pipe well stream oceans they also talk about the importance of what water and we have our uses of what water all right so this is the end of our lesson so we meet again bye bye